Infestation, 2005, directed by Edward Ever Swindell, starring Ross Edison, Susan Riley, and Paul Sutherland. Decades after a fatal virus drives humanity underground, a rescue mission is mounted to find out what happened to a lost recon team sent to the surface. What will they find on the surface? And who will come back alive? A lot of zombie movies were made in the 2000s. And I mean a lot. And it makes sense, too. The truth is that zombie films are fairly easy to make. With a handful of friends, a camera, and some fairly inexpensive makeup, budding filmmakers can create horror films in their own neighborhood. The overwhelming number of zombie films that came out in the 2000s made me extremely picky when I started getting films to review. Anyone can make a zombie movie. Making one that stands out is another story. What caught my eye with this film was its scope. This wasn't your typical start of the outbreak zombie flick. It takes place 30 years after humanity has been driven underground. I'm a sucker for a good post-post-apocalypse story, and this one even has flying cars. Now these technically aren't zombies, they're deranged cannibalistic mutations. But, I mean, if it walks like a duck, and craves the flesh of the living like a duck, I think it's safe to say we're dealing with a duck. There's some pretty obvious influences at play here. Resident Evil. Aliens. The Matrix. Even Romero's Living Dead trilogy. There's some seriously well-choreographed fighting and action sequences on display as well. Especially when you keep in mind that this was some small indie production. The craziest thing about this film is its budget. This film was made for £5,000, making it the cheapest film I've featured on my channel so far. The cast do a pretty good job with this one, especially Ross Evison, who also worked on the script. With premises like these, it would have been so easy to slump on any interpersonal conflicts or backstories. There's enough intrigue to go around. One of the things I appreciate about this film is the fact that the zombification is a side effect of the inoculation against the virus, as opposed to a side effect of the virus itself. It's a little detail, but it's a nice subversion in a genre that's saturated with predictable tropes. Sadly, this film has been bullied to an abysmal rating on sites like IMDb by users unfairly chastising the film for not being a larger studio production. This bothers me, and I see it pretty frequently, unfortunately. It's almost a screw you for trying to the filmmakers. This film was incredibly hard to get, too. I actually had to import a copy all the way from Australia just to see it. Verdict? Recommended. Dead okay, some time to check this one out. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling, low-budget adventure.